Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, Morgan and I are actually headed out to Australia. We're going to fish Cape York with the Aussie Fly Fisher crew. Uh, we leave in just a few days actually, and I have been tying a ton of flies in preparation for this trip. Um, one fly that I see very common in a lot of pictures of the catches that they get down there is this Alflexo crab. It's a tan, tan body, yellow, legged alflexo um yeah pretty much every permit i've seen golden trevally blue bastards they all eat these uh and this fly has actually been proven to work around the world for trigger fish and permit um in lots of different colors so this one yellow and tan kind of seems to be the ticket down there or yellow and white so i've tied a bunch of those um i cranked out like four bodies just this morning before starting this video and I need to get legs and eyes on all those. I just kind of do them step by step. Um, but let's see. So here's what I've got to take so far. Uh, this is for Morgan and I both. This is just crabs and shrimp. I'm trying to fill that last little gap there. And then we got all these too for, for GTs and other big stuff so big bait fish and big poppers so anyways i think we're pretty set on flies but you can never have enough right so uh for today you're gonna need a hook hook to start off we're doing pretty big hooks here these are size one ot sl12s um the body is made out of this this is tan body tubing from fish skull we got some yellow micro chenille legs there that we're going to tie in um, for weight because I think we're fishing pretty deep. I've got two lead dumbbell eyes. I was using yellow, but I'm all out of yellow eyes, so we're switching to white. Uh, tan thread, easy peasy. And. Lastly, I've got some little epoxy eyes. Oh, there they all go, falling out the side. Um, little epoxy eyes that I got off of Amazon, super cheap, but I hate making them myself, so I buy them. Um, all right, I think that's it. Let's get to tying. Okay. So we'll start off with the hook in the vise here. And grab our tan thread. Start that thread right behind the eye of the hook. And we're gonna work back past the point, covering that entire shank with thread. We want a nice thread base on here. And right about the point of the hook is where I'm going to tie in my first set of dumbbell eyes. We're just doing some wraps in one direction, try and hold them in place so they don't pull forward and switch up and do wraps in the other direction. Just making sure this guy's sitting nice on top there. And some wraps underneath, some parachute wraps, just to make sure it's not going anywhere. And we need to pull it back just a little more. There we go. <clears throat> Sorry, uh, moving the vise a lot. We got to kind of crank on this one. All right. Now, second pair of dumbbell eyes go in right in front of that. Same process here. Just securing them to the top of the shank and again that thing snuck forward on me so I'm gonna pull it back in place and really just hold it there All right more cross wraps and more parachute wraps alright these things are pretty secure now we're going to work up the bend of this hook a little ways to where we want our body to stop. 
Gonna go just a little ways down that band. Right there is good. Making sure that whole shank is covered. And now I'm gonna come in with some super glue. And just put a dab of super glue here on the thread wraps. This is just gonna help keep my body tubing from sliding uh, when I put pressure on it. So we go around there, around the eyes, and grab that thread. And make sure it doesn't slide off like it always wants to. And that's where that super glue comes in handy too. It kind of just holds everything in place as it dries. I like to get some nice wraps tight, but not too tight to where you break your thread because that'll happen. Coming in here with a large whip finish tool, this really helps to get over top of all the end of these uh, body tube strands. Oh, and it's still really easy to mess up, so. Going around the outside, one, two, three, four, five. Pop it off there, boom, done. So that's one side. Now we can trim off our thread. And we're gonna kind of preform our body here. I'm just pushing on that to flex it out and get that kind of crabby shape that I want. And then we come back in with our thread. And get behind the eye. Get some nice cinch wraps down there. And I like to just kind of pull this tag end over so that I'm double locking it in there. Make sure it's not sliding out on us. And then we can trim that off. Get that whip finish tool. Don't necessarily need the big one this time. One, two, three. Double down on this. Okay. There we go. Now that's pretty much all the tying that this fly takes. The rest is kind of just arts and crafts. We're gonna trim these guys off, uh, burn them down use a little lighter and melt that down um, and then we thread the legs through and add the eyes and it's done uh, so first thing I like to do we're gonna come in here with a little a little bit of resin a little bit of resin um, and just cover these thread wraps to protect them so we're gonna be doing a lot of cutting and burning and it's really easy to damage those thread wraps and kind of ruin the entire fly uh, up until this point and then you got to cut everything off and start over and that's never fun so little damage control here both sides boom boom I can come in with my scissors and trim off all the excess. And I'm going to get as close to my thread wraps as I can to leave the littlest amount to burn possible. I think that's probably good. So, to this point, little crabby looking coin there. Um, now, the fun part, I'm just going to use a lighter, get this thing piping hot, red hot. There we go, I like to go through the eye very first and kind of get all those out of the way. 
because the other side's really just to make it look pretty. It doesn't necessarily have to be cleaned up. Uh, but this side, you don't want those little ends uh, where your line or your tippet will go because they can easily cut up, cut a knot, cut your tippet, and you can lose a fish that way. So we're just making sure this eye is completely cleaned up. I'm just gonna do one more through, one more through the eye, and we'll call her good. Maybe do one more. One clean up around on the other side. There we go. That's nice. Ooh, it's hot. It's hot still. Okay. Now, just gonna move this here. And this side, I think I can actually just hit it directly with the lighter. Get those nice and hot. Perfecto, and we'll just kind of go in with this guy. Okay, sweet. There you go. So now we're all done with the body, and I'm gonna invert this in my vise because it's time to put the arms and legs in. I'm gonna start with the legs towards me, and I just went ahead and pre-cut uh, a few strips of chenille out here and an important tool you'll need for this is a bobbin threader and I like to try and keep the legs on the top side so that they kind of help to float like this it kind of helps keep it hook point up as it descends if you put them on this side it'll tend to want to flip and then you're hooking rocks and stuff um, it's really important your weights on the bottom you want your legs to be on the top that way it floats hook point up so we're gonna try and sneak in the back behind these eyes and above them with this bobbin threader let me go a little closer a little closer to the front that and we're just gonna grab a leg one by one and pull them through towards the back. That looks good. Okay, legs are in. Now we're gonna come in and throw in the arms. And then just same thing here, I uh, already cut these out to length and all you're gonna do is put two pieces together and tie a little overhand knot in there and you'll get a little claw. Same thing, pull that through. And on the other side, same thing. Starting to look a little more crabby. I know we've got some stuff to clean up here. Um, I think first step I'm gonna do 
Just hit all of these legs with a little bit of super glue, just to get them locked in. Come in and cut the bottom of these arms out of the crab claws. Don't need those. I'm just going to poke them through with my scissors. And we're going to come in and trim these legs down. They're a little longer than we like. trying to get in here right now. Might have gone a little too short, but that's all right. Okay, that goes a little long. Now, come in with the lighter, burn these little tips of these legs down. You could just leave it right there and you'd have a finished fly. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and throw some epoxy eyes in there just for fun. They usually fall out after a couple fish or a few casts anyways, but uh, it's always fun to have a nice realistic looking crab to start off, help boost the confidence. I'm just poking these little eyes through here, uh, right by the claws. Like so. Oh, pull that one all the way through, dummy. There you go. Couple of eyes. Hit this with a little bit of resin. Push them back in. Wham, lightsaber. And you can come in and trim these off. They're not going anywhere now. That one might need a, rib, a little touch up. I said they're not going anywhere. This one's going somewhere. You're going places, kid. All right, and one last thing you can do to this is just add some barring to the legs. And there you have it. I don't think so. 
arts and crafts fly, but effective. I'm about tired of tying them, but I'm ready to fish them, so this trip can't come soon enough. Uh, stay tuned. We'll definitely have some videos coming from the trip. Uh, hopefully some highlights of some catches with these bad boys. Uh, yeah, we'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching.